These are the phone numbers and the websites if you want to learn about Thera Pilates. Again, the first number on the top of your screen is for Sherry for Santa Cruz County. The second number on the bottom is to reach Gina and Monterey County. And there's a website, www.therapilates.com. And we are back and we are all standing because they are going to demonstrate some of those exercises that we told you about that are perfect for Thera Pilates. So let's, what's the first thing that you want to demonstrate? Well, the first thing we want to start with is posture and alignment. Okay, as I'm not standing straight. <laughs> <laughs> Gina is. So what are, what are you going to do here? So what we're going to do is use a simple broomstick okay. that you have at home already. You can take the broom off the handle or leave it. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put the stick against the head, the mid-back, and the sacrum, which is the tailbone. Yes. And the triangular shaped bone at the base of the spine. So ideal posture would mean that the stick touches all those three points simultaneously. And then what we do is we have you sit back in a hip hinge position. So you're going to bend your knees and sit back. And you have to keep all those three points against the stick. Okay. And this is a lot easier said than done <laughs> the first time. <laughs> and then coming back up. So this would keep you safe if you were going to bend down and pick something up off the floor, do a heavy lift. Right. And, um, Which is what we saw in that still, the demonstration right. of how to bend down and pick right. something up. Right. Okay. Exactly. So then the next thing we do... Sure, all of this is stuff that takes practice, right? Absolutely. I mean, okay. Absolutely. Right. And feedback is best when you have a teacher that yes. can help you with that feedback. Then we're going to do a balance progression. So standing with your feet all the way together is the first step. Uh -huh. to good balance. Uh -huh. Some people find that difficult that they have their feet close together. Then we take half a step forward. So just a tiny step forward and see if you can balance there. Then you take one foot and put it directly in front of the other. This is like standing on a balance beam. We call this tandem stance. I bet that's difficult for some people for it sure. It is. Yes. And there's a way that you can help yourself by thinking of spreading your feet apart or pulling your feet together like a pair of scissors. Okay. And then what we do is we bring the knee up, all the way up off the floor. Now then that's when the person might want to use the dowel to help them as a balance tool. So right. then you can change it from an alignment tool to a balance tool. After that, we're going to progress to going up on one toe. So this has the effect of strengthening the calf muscles, and it also oh, doing builds bone. Okay. Yeah. And it's not as easy as I <laughs> No, 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 no. I know that's not easy. <laughs> You're a trained professional. I know it's not <laughs> easy. <laughs> and, and anything that you do like yeah. this, it's about, it's about making sure you balance and do both sides. That's right. right. Now, when that's you're talking right. about building bones, are we talking about building bones like in the lower part of her legs or, we are or the whole body just by doing this? that neck of the femur right okay. here. We want to target that vulnerable area that's prone to fracture okay. with falls. All right. So we're targeting this. This muscle here, which is your fountain of youth muscle, uh -huh. your gluteus medius muscle, and your hip, your bone in your hip. Okay. So what? then what we do is we bend the bottom knee to make it more challenging and to strengthen the upper muscles of the leg. Oh, gotcha. And this is a great one for knee problems, mm -hmm. osteoarthritis of the knee. Mm -hmm problems that with stability in the knee and you have to make sure that your knee is going right over the second and third toes. All right, and we probably have only three minutes left, okay. so I don't know if there was something, else, something okay. else that you wanted to demonstrate. Watch All your right. wire there, Gina, if you would. Uh, so Great. Tell okay. me about the bands and the things that you have here. Okay. So the tube goes on the feet, and the good, the good thing I like people to do is try to get into it without actually bending over, uh, and which that she did. makes your feet uh, okay. work a little harder. Keep the chest All right. Yeah. To strengthen the bones of the hip, you can bring the foot forward. Right. Straight forward. That's it. And, and that's to the side. the bones in the hip. That's right. And okay. actually, the leg that you're really working is this leg, the, the standing leg. That's leg. Mm -hmm. And that's very mm -hmm. difficult. That band, Absolutely. Those, I've it done is. exercises like that, and Absolutely. it's a lot harder than mm -hmm. it looks like. Then. And then one of the most important exercises that we want to think about for the spine is going down onto the stomach and doing the chest lift. Can uh -huh. we show that one? Sure. Okay, great. Just if we can get out so, of that. So, so Gina, you were going to say something. Go ahead. All fours. One important thing when you're doing when Here. you're standing on one leg yes. is to make sure that your hip isn't relaxed. You want to get real tall on that leg so that the the socket. Is, is the ball intact. is in the socket. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're standing like this, and you try to stand up, and you can 
fall. So okay. you want to make sure you have great alignment as you start to lift the leg. All right. Yeah. Let's Imagining do the other one. standing taller helps. So when she goes down to the floor, we keep those three bones in alignment. Go all the way down onto all fours. Okay. Come down onto your stomach slowly, keeping your shoulders down. And then we're going to come all the way down onto the floor. Now, reaching back with your hands and just and leave your hands. Here so you can see. Uh huh. Reach your hands down the backs of your legs. And some people can't get in this position with I the arms. I was going to ask you, how difficult is this? It's very difficult if your shoulders are tight. And, yeah, absolutely. Or your are tight. So, what you could do is just open the hands like that uh -huh. and then lift the chest. Now, if you're frail or fragile or you have osteoporosis, we suggest that you put a pillow under your, your belly and to protect the rib cage. So you're going to lift and then return. And I like to tell people to think of a tattoo on the back of your neck that's always showing to keep your neck in alignment. Mm -hmm. So lift, And again, if out, somebody's tight in there, that's going to be real challenging in. to them. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. But this is a great one to prevent the rounded upper back, strengthen your back, and strengthen the bones. And all of these things that Jean is demonstrating are, are some sort of modified form of what is Pilates traditionally, which right. is what you're calling Therapilates. Right. Okay. Right. So we modify the exercises in the Pilates method because there are some knee bends and some different hand positions that would be required for traditional Pilates. Okay. And Gina, were you getting ready to demonstrate something else? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And I think we probably only have a minute or two left, so one. let's do this. Yeah. Tell us this about foam this. roller. People have thrown this out in the trash thinking this is recycled material. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put the foam roller half. Uh, or perpendicular to uh, Gina's back. Okay. And then you're going to keep your chest lifted as you get down to it. That's the hardest part. And then you're going to put up your hands immediately behind your head, interlace your fingers, mm -hmm. and then breathe in and arch your back over the roller. And then breathe out, scooping the ribs toward the pelvis to come up. And again, breathe so is this, in. Is this the modified crunch? Is that what this we're looking This is it. At? So okay. if you're really loving your crunches, here you go. You can and do Gina, a much still, safer crunch. You're still crunches. filling that in here, so it's not like oh, you're right. getting the workout. So she's Absolutely. still getting those abdominals working. Great ab exercise. And, mm -hmm. and tell me, Sherry, what she's protecting by doing this. We have only a minute. So she's protecting the, the bones roller. of her spine that are prone to fracture okay. with the rounded back position. So she's only going from extension, which is the arching of the back, to neutral position, which okay. is the alignment of the head, mid back, and the sacrum. And there, where, there, she stops before she actually bends forward. Gotcha. And we didn't get to this, but there are lots of other things yeah. that you can demonstrate with uh -huh. the band, and we and probably then, won't have time to demonstrate it. But okay, that so go on to your to the roller this way. Now this is the lovely end of the day decompression, a great way to end the class. <laughs> so, and then bend your knees, lift the hips up, and, and then we're I'm gonna, gonna put this as underneath you're your back. Demonstrating, um, we're gonna have to close out the show so you Press can your back demonstrating. Down and um, tug. And this is another just abdominal, abdominal exercise. Lift okay. the legs up into the air and keep that strap down. As they continue and keep to the demonstrate, belly down. I do want to put on the screen one toe. more time. There are Pilates graphics, the phone toe. number and the website.